Bak ya ne bak ha? Kuvayli dünyanın safari. Dünya binari mare bombata zongra. Dünya vatsı yoli rakı rakı zori hati de amne zori hati. Let's go beta, let's go. This is... Okay. He's as nice as he is handsome. Around the world like Jen Bays and African Brahms. And I thought that... Kenzie, and today you will get a behind the glass mat. In the terrifying film, The Birds of Apartment. Yeah! We got some action up in here, Chris. Yeah, we do. Chris came flying in over there. Brock was zipping in over there. How come you and I didn't get a fancy answer? Ready and action. something completely different than what you guys might think. For example, this water bottle could be used to articulate the sound of bones breaking. Check it out. And of course, Mother Bates, the perfect setting to demonstrate a horror effect. That's right, joining us all the way from New York, everyone say hi, Joanne. Hi, hi Joanne. Joanne. Joanne was selected because she has a very distinctive scream. Let me show you what I mean. Joanne, you just checked into the uh, Bates Motel, you're shampooing your hair, the shower curtain flies open, there's Norman Bates, how would you scream? <laughs> nice! <laughs> wow! Have you been murdered before? Oh! <laughs> She's Italian, oh, that makes sense. My wife is too, makes sense. We saw that fight scene stunt performers have a very high tolerance to pain. Joanne, the question is, do you? Well, do you? At home. Try it at a friend's house. <laughs> All right, hold still. It's gonna hurt a lot, Joanne. Here, right, here we go. Yeah. Oh, oh, what are you doing? We're not really gonna use a machete on Joanne. No, of course not. <laughs> no. Okay. All right. It's so weird. Check out the side screens, everyone. We're gonna chop off Joanne's arm with this knife because it's much, much sharper. <laughs> Don't worry, it might grow back. Okay, hold still. Here we go. The count three. Ready to scream. Ready. One, two, three. <laughs> Acting was very, very real. Yeah. Especially giggling teeth yeah. to signal the beginning of a take. That way our editors will know it's okay. What are you doing, Aaron? Living my best life. <laughs> Hashtag disagree. Okay, take what you're gonna talk. Markham who will be acting as her safety. As you can see, Crystal's applied something to her face. It's not the latest Hollywood beauty cream. It's a protective fire gel, and she applies it to all of her exposed skin. You probably know how uncomfortable it is to miss a spot with sunblock. Well, imagine what it must feel like. To miss a spot when you're on fire. Not good. Safe user standing by the fire extinguishers in case of a premature ignition. Look good. Excuse me. Put it in fuel. Go right ahead. Cayman, you ready? Ready. Fueling. Upon completion of the burn, Crystal will move down to this fire blanket where she will be extinguished at this point. We're looking for thumbs up that she's okay, thumbs down as a sign to get her medical team involved. Also, excellent time for you to point out that these are trained stunt professionals using specialized people. This is not the type of thing anyone should ever think about trying on their own. 
Looks like Chris is just wearing a pair of jeans and a shirt. In truth, she has other safety layers underneath that give her added protection. Nothing is going to make her completely fireproof, but each layer buys her extra time when she needs it the most. Because the last thing a fire performer wants to hear at the end of a take is, all right, let's shoot that again. One take, you got it, I promise. We're hoping Chris will burn for about eight to 10 seconds today. We do ask that everyone remain seated for the duration of this stunt. Take our lights down, set our clock to zero. Stunt team, whenever you're ready. Thank you. Damon, you ready? Ready. Crystal, you ready? Ready. Ready and action. Lighting. Do it. Congratulations. <laughs> he says he loves you very much. That's what he said. What? No, he also said you guys should go shoe shopping in Beverly Hills tomorrow. <laughs> that is so nice. You're going to buy your new wife's shoes in Beverly Hills. Very expensive. <laughs> yeah, for her. <laughs> Tony says money is no object. <laughs> Get what you want. You've been married for three months. You have so much to learn. Think. We all see outer space. We're gonna rear project the back plate of a space station onto the screen behind him. That looks fantastic. All right, we're ready to go. So here's what I want you to do: take that green bar and move it halfway up. Yep. Just all that. Oh, Pay attention. Very important. Okay, we got him good. I'm gonna turn for you so we get that done. Uh, Tony, buddy, do me a favor. Don't don't touch the wires. You should be balanced. So just push your shoulders back. Yep. Push your shoulders back. Those are your feet. Feet down, feet down, shoulders back. There you go. Push. Big push. Chin up. Push. Push, 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 push. Yeah, that's it. Woo! He looks very natural. All right, we're ready to go, so I'm going to take that pink little right up that way. Keep going a little more, a little more. That's good. Salute the space station, Captain. Come on. Hang on. We're going to reset him. Right here. I got you, big guy. Uh, I tell you what, feet down. Yeah, I got you here. Shoulders back. You don't push me. Just strong. Show me strong. <laughs> That'll work. All right. Go ahead. Take that and move it around this time, though. Take him wherever you want, but we want him to wind up at the moon. Which is... Okay, that's a little too high. Can you bring him down? That's not down. <laughs> Are you sending him back to South Korea? No, we, we want him. We want him here in Hollywood. He's a movie star. Okay, we're gonna bring him down. So I look for my hand. There you go. Okay. 